Taylor, thanks for joining us on USTA.com. And nice win today, but it was a tough one. Oh, absolutely. Chella's, uh, Chella's a very tough opponent, and I knew that before uh, going into the match. And, you know, it, it turned out to be <laughs> exactly that. I, I could have served a little bit more accurately on the first serve today, um, but the, the groundies actually, for the most part, carried me through. I missed a few forehands that I wasn't happy with, but he played great. You know, he was putting a lot of first serves in. And uh, after the first set, he really started to hit the ball big off the baseline. And any time you're doing that and, and making a lot of them on grass, it's a tough thing to handle. Is it a surface you enjoy playing? I mean, we know you've got the big serve and all that, but playing on grass is not all about a big serve. No, I, no surface is all about a big serve, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, the grass has, you know, changed a lot, I think. I think a lot has to do with the balls, you know, when it's a little bit of moisture in the air and you play on the grass uh, when it's green in the uh, first few days, balls get really heavy. So the grass is uh, not the same as the days when my dad played on it. Um, but it still benefits my game, you know, it still benefits taking risks from the baseline and, and hitting big. Um, not so much as in the past, but uh, you know, it, it's fine. Does Phil still give you tips on how to play on grass? No, I think he's given that up. He's been here enough now to know that the game has, you know, totally evolved from from when he played. Um, he just kind of says, well, "What do you think?" And I just say, "Well, this is what it felt like," and he said, "This is what it looked like." So you know, it's it's, it's not something where he can give. As far as the game goes, personal experiences, as far as you know, men, men, mental toughness and focus out there, then he can you know give me some pointers. Does it feel any different for you coming back to Wimbledon this year? Ah, uh, well, it's, unfortunately, it does. You know, it's a little bit sad because my wife and uh, baby couldn't make it over on the trip. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. It's my first Father's Day, though, so I was kind of giggling about that a bit. But um, and also, this is my first time coming over here by myself. You know, my dad was going through some personal stuff, so uh, he couldn't make it out. But you know, it is what it is. Do you, I mean, being here on your own? You've got to fend for yourself, the cooking, the washing, the ironing, all that sort of stuff. How are you handling all that? Well, luckily enough, I'm staying with a very nice family. Um, they've taken me in, and they feed me. They make sure my laundry's done, which is, you know, they're going just ab above and beyond. So I actually feel a little bit guilty about it, but they've, uh, they've been fantastic. I stayed with them last year, too. They were fantastic last year as well. And uh, what's it like being a father? Well, right now it's sad. You know, I wish yeah. I had the little guy here with me and I and, uh, was able to tickle him and play with him, but... You know, all in good time. I'm excited for the U.S. summer circuit. It's going to be with me uh, every day, every day. And Taylor, overall, how do you feel you're you're doing at the moment? Are you satisfied with things, or you you feel there's still plenty to change? Um, obviously, never satisfied. You know, I, I wish that uh, I was number one in the world and had 16 slams like somebody else. But you know, where hey, I but am, that's somebody else almost lost. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, you know, but uh, I think it's a good thing to not be satisfied. I think it's a good thing to, to be hungry and, and want more success. I think that's just a natural human, uh, you know, natural human nature. So um, I, th I feel like I'm doing a great job right now of, of, of being logical about what it's going to take for me to, to keep moving up the ranking and, and keep improving my game. So uh, I'm optimistic that I've done the bulk of my learning on, on what it's going to take for my game game to be successful, you know, because I've had to make some, some adjustments, some huge adjustments to my game um, for the modern modern style. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, you know, cautiously optimistic that the, the big massive changes that I've had to make have been made. Well, on that note, That's Taylor right. Dent, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on USTA.com. Thank you.